Jojo has fun. <laughs> hey guys, hi. So, uh, in my abject frustration, we're doing an extra episode of yeah. Little Nightmares. Even though, even though uh, Jojo's like, uh, we're done after this one. I'm like, one more, which is like the first time I've ever been like that. So just fucking let me have my thing, okay? Right, fine. Uh, so I think that we found, uh, we may have found a an interesting article. Um, We're not going to say exactly why it's interesting. I think it's interesting how to break up with your girlfriend, well, no, how to win back your girlfriend after a breakup. Inspect your motives. Breakups are hard. Before approaching your ex, you need to first sit down and soberly consider why your relationship ended. <gasps> uh, oh, fuck, I made it. Holy shit balls. Fuck. God damn. These WikiHow articles really help you play. They do. Um, number two. Figure, so figure, wait, first one was figure out why you broke up. Uh, no, th- figure out your motives. Oh. Like, I think why you want to get back together. I don't like having to pay for my apartment. <laughs> yeah, <that's>, yep. <laughs> two. Think about why it ended. I banged her <laughs> sister. Uh, Three. Keep your distance. Well, that doesn't seem like it's... Uh, texting, calling, emailing, or other trying to insert your way into her life too soon after the breakup is not only irritating, it comes off as desperate. Joe. All right. Try to wait for her to come to you. Leave out little bits of tuna. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking motherfucker. Yeah, fix your little clock. Focus on you for a while. Play your let's play game. Oh my god, run into the fucking wall, why don't you? I did. It Uh, it worked out for me. Don't be afraid to be on your own. Part two, approach your ex. Do the right thing. Before you make the move to reach out to your ex, make sure she's available and that you really have her best interest at heart. So uh, the picture is a guy looking at two people who are very much in love. If she's dating someone else, don't crash on her relationship. Crash. Crash on it. Crash like crazy. Fucking destroy. Destroy him. If she's happy. You're not ru- doing this right. Yeah. Make her sad. How make, make her hate you. How fucking dare she? She you can't get over her, you. She was yours She's first. your forever girl. Network. What? If your intentions are good and you have good terms, terms with her friends, you might consider recruiting their help. No. But <laughs> proceed with caution. I fell. <laughs> If, oh, I hope that you made it past that one part. I did the real big fall. If I didn't, I'm going to be extremely pissed. I can't wait. Oh, God. Come on. Don't be a piece of garbage, little Dear nightmares. Dear God. All right. We're okay, good. Okay. You're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, if you can get the help from her friends, they can be invaluable allies. Yeah. Start, fucking uh, wear her down on all sides. Yeah. Start slow. Don't start off with an emotionally loaded way. Like saying, I really want us to get back together. Or the dreaded, we need to talk. The dreaded, we need to talk. Keep things casual. If you dread saying we need to talk, you are not mature enough to be in a yeah. relationship. Yeah, because like, you need to talk, man. Like, a lot. Yeah. Relationships involve a lot of talking. Well, a lot of talking to work out things that aren't correct. I mean, avoiding too, let's be fair. But a lot of talking. Yeah. Uh, keep things casual. Keep it Take cash. responsibility. What does that mean? <laughs> Chacha, what does that mean? <laughs> Chacha just meowed very loud. Yeah, that's right. You should take responsibility. <laughs> this was probably your fault that you broke up in the first place. Piece of garbage. <laughs> Fuck you. You dumb piece of shit. Uh-oh. Okay. His long arms are going to get you. Ah, I'm Mr. Spindly Arm. <laughs> I have no trouble reaching under the bed. I sound like this. This is my voice. This is how I sound. I I'm you, all. I know you're into I me. can reach in. I can reach up there. I remember the first time I saw Eddie Dufresne. <laughs> he had long, spindly arms. Whoops. Whoops. Why? why? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Whoops. God damn it, Joe. Whoops. <laughs> No, jump. No, run up the. Get up the. Oh, books. you're right. Get up the books. Up the books. Oh, balls. He can't reach up there. Just For, oh, he has. He has issues. He uh, he has uh, clearly has t- issues with his tendons. 
Oh, so that somehow you should get that got, yeah. all the way back to the other side? Fuck. Yeah, yeah. And I got an achievement called Elusive. <laughs> Barely. Did they see you earlier? Yeah, I fucking... All I did was throw shit. Well, now what do I do? Take responsibilities for the fact that you slept with her sister. I would rather not. <laughs> Move forward. Do I need to... Oh, can you turn the TV on? Can I? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, maybe I can distract him with television. You can distract anybody with television. Look at us. Yeah. Have a game plan. Have a game plan. Ask questions like, what do you feel like when we weren't together before? Then uh, move on. Uh, it's not letting me do... Breaking up with someone you love. What? How to break up with someone you love. Okay, well, that sounds... Or be strong after a breakup, or make a guy feel sorry. You want that one? You want to... How to, how to make a guy feel sorry? How to emotionally abuse men. How do we get down this rabbit hole? Oh, God, because we're trying to be successful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Step one is clearly don't get distracted. Avoid the guy... How to to a certain extent. Avoid you're, wait, him. You're, you're telling me there's an article that's just called How to Make a Guy Feel Bad. Yeah. Man. Yeah, avoid the guy. Make him feel your detachment when you interact. So he's, he's like, hey, girl, how you doing? And you're just like, huh. I'm better. I've been better. Better than you. And you're like, womp, womp. Womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. Spend womp. time with other people. This is seriously, was this written by a middle schooler? <laughs> push that chair around. You gotta push that chair. Oh shit! Can I? No, it's not that kind of chair. I don't think. Oh yeah. Well, now what? Consider dating other people. So this is someone that you're in a relationship with. Yeah. Ha I cannot see. Well, that didn't help. Oh, my God. You this have to light your fire, you freaking idiot. All right, so <laughs> it's lit. This fire is lit. Oh, my God. Yeah, but I can't see. It's, it's like, yes, I'm climbing, but I can't fucking see where I'm going or what's happening. Try flirting with other guys in front of your ex. Cons yeah, I guess this is your ex. This is just like how to make all men feel bad. <laughs> this is just a <laughs> Step one, be lady. Be woman. <laughs> I don't make all men feel bad. Step one, lady. Lady. Consider g getting rid of some of the items he gave you. Getting rid of things your guy gave you. Like your baby. <laughs> <laughs> like your baby is oh what Jeff said. Oh my god. It made us bad. Uh, hurtful. <laughs> Have fun without your guy. Especially if you recently broke up. Don't sulk. Right. Show off your strengths where he can see them. And it's a picture of uh, two people dancing really sexily while somebody watches. Oh. Continue to dress up even when you go out alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, duh. Wear clothes. That'll show him. Build a new world that he can see but not join. This is the dumbest thing. Do not take revenge lightly. What? I don't know. <laughs> Do not take revenge Try lightly. Try talking with the guy instead. Well, that goes against, like, rule number one. Friggin' turds. You can't tell me. Set up a time to talk with the guy. Do not enter the conversation when you're feeling emotional or in a bad mood. Get to the point quickly and don't jump to accusations. You were a jerk and made fun of me! <laughs> That's actually what it says. Yeah. It says, there's a picture that says you were a jerk and made fun of me? Uh, no, it's it's just written as an example. Yeah. Uh, stay on topic. Stop bringing up his mom. It doesn't say that, but it should. Uh, act open-minded and listen to the guy. This is like a different article. I'm reading. Totally yeah. Don't force an apology. What? Are know they that talking? Not all apologies are verbal. Maybe he will buy you something to say sorry. <laughs> no. Again, that's what it says. Ooh. I did not make that up. Okay, you guys. That was WikiHow for the day. <laughs> yeah, so in case you guys are curious, what we've gone over today is uh, how, to, how to be successful on YouTube. 
Yeah. First JoJo's uh, take, which was 100% accurate. Mm -hmm. I'm right. (laughs) And then also a bunch of other garbage on various forms of success. How to be successful just in life. Yeah. Uh, Like by an Olympian. Yep. How to be successful in... uh, Everything, uh, but as if a, you were a woman on Wall Street, how to be successful as a woman on Wall Street? How to how to, uh, how to break up with a guy? What? <laughs> a, none of them were how to be successful in Little Nightmares. Too God bad. damn it! I don't think you're going about this the right way, Joe. Okay, fine. What the fuck do I do then? Light your little candle. Walk to the right. Walk to the back. Walk to the left. Crawl up that ladder. That one. All right. <laughs> light your little light. No, walk to the left. Oh. Uh. Oh, no, jump. Look, I think you can jump up to the left there. No. Wow. So, uh, hey. Glad we did another episode of this. Well, glad you guys, I hope you guys like this. Hey, dear two people who told us we should play this game. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how to be successful at comments. <laughs> I think I'm dead. <laughs> did I fall to my death? Good. Are you kidding me with this? Tomorrow we're going to play something else. God damn it. See you guys tomorrow. Love you. We love some of you more than others. This fucking game. Thank <laughs> you.